here at 106 St. Stephen Street in Boston, Massachusetts. The shoe mobile gets set to take off. Gentlemen, turn around and face the camera. How are we feeling? Hey, it's happening. Bear images, babe, we're going to Canada. <laughs> it was Wednesday, March 28th, when the Candlepin for Kids crew left the bustling metropolis of Boston, Massachusetts to go to the Great White North, Canada, to be a part of the Atlantic Coast Youth Invitational Tournament. Destination? Nova Scotia! No! Oh, it's happening. We're there! Oh yeah. So soon. I plan on witnessing one of my first couple of kids to get their first triple strike here. Uh, a couple of their personal best. Back to you, Rob. Thanks, Dan. Now while we were on a Candlepin bowling trip, we decided to get things kicked off with a different type of bowling. 5-pin, a sport native to Canada featuring higher scores and 15 pins available per box. He's got one. This one is the key. Pleased with our performance, we took a trip over to the candle pin side of the house, where we found an adjustment back to lighter balls was a tricky one. Yeah, it does feel weird. It does. We weren't able to hit those high 200 scores we had earlier, leading me to give some thoughts of starting a 5 pin for kids. In the Gutter is brought to you by Oddball Sporting Goods, your premier online source for candle pin and duck pin bowling equipment. Novelty balls and bags to the stuff the pros use, Oddball's got you covered. That's oddballsportinggoods.com and tell them Shoe sent you. Welcome back to our closing interviews here on Candlepin for Kids. I'm here with our runners up, Michaela Tortolot and Colin Pedigo. Michaela, we're going to start with you. You've been on Candlepin for Kids many times before. How did it feel this morning? It felt kind of good, kind of bad. What were the good parts? The good parts were probably because I just love bowling. We loved having you on the show. We thought you did a good job. Were you feeling nervous up there at all? A little bit. Any ways you tried to overcome those nerves? Anything you were thinking, trying to do in the match? I was trying to think of good memories, but I couldn't think of any. Can you Have you thought of any since then? Or there, what was, what's your favorite moment, your favorite memory from being on Candlepin for Kids? Probably the first time I ever did it. I remember it too. You were really little back then. You've grown up on us. We know we're going to see you in the years to come. You've been awesome for our show, Michaela. Thank you very much for bowling with us this morning. You're going home with a $25 gift card. Also going home with a $25 gift card is Colin Pedigo. Colin, you came out of the gate struggling. Were, were you nervous? Mm, a little bit, but I got better as the game went on. You got extremely better as the game went on. You were all over that head pin. Once you found it, you're throwing great ball after great ball. How are you feeling once you're getting in a groove up there? Um, I was feeling good, like getting used to the lanes. Was there anything you changed after those two boxes? Um, I didn't notice a change. Well, I think that's probably the best way to do it is to just keep doing what you're doing and eventually it's going to start working. Uh, this was your second time on Candlepin for Kids, correct? Yep. So you're new to the show. Were you a little more nervous this morning with it being the championships? How did you try to deal with that? Um, I felt okay. Thought you looked up K out there. You bowled extremely well. You're going home with $25 gift card. Thank you for bowling with us this morning. We appreciate you guys. Now we're going to kick it over to Shu with our fellows who are running on. Thanks, Rob. I'm here with Johnson & Johnson. We're going to get a, an extended amount of time to talk to you after your next match, so I'll keep this short. Uh, how did it feel winning the first match? Felt pretty good. How about you, Sage? Good. Sage, did you realize that you were going for a chance to win the bowling balls when you were trying for that third mark in a row earlier? Yeah. Yeah, you, how much did you, did you think you had it when you look over the ball? It looked like it missed by this much. Yeah. <laughs> um, does it make it, uh, what do you, do you uh, take that energy and use it to your advantage when you're nervous? I mean, do, do you think it's uh, better to have the lights on and the pressure? Yeah. You guys have any final thoughts for the opponent that you're going to hit coming up? Uh, any, any uh, how do you plan on attacking and defeating them? That guy, going down. How about you? Do you have any uh, friends on the team you're bowling against or any thoughts about your opponent coming up? I uh, don't know. Are you going to change your strategy at all from what you did this last match or just attack them the same way? Attack them the same way. Alright, I wish you guys a lot of luck in your next match. 
You're going for $50. Good luck. We're going to see you in a few minutes. Good luck. Back to you, Rob. Hunter and Sage with a strong showing in our semifinals. They move on to face Alana Brown and Cole Fry in the championship match. We both know Hunter's excited for that one. Hunter's calm, though. Look at him. He's, he's matured. We hope you watch that one, and we thank you for watching this one on behalf of our entire, entire Candlepin for Kids staff. Thank you for joining us this morning here on Candlepin for Kids. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Maybe the water somehow connects eventually. However, I'm sure this gets to the ocean. The ocean gets to Canada. I see snowflakes coming down. No! I'm scared. Hey, Rob, you know how you're officially in Canada? How do we do that, Dan? Watch. Kilometers per hour, baby. Woo! We are here. Here's to the metric system. Who's your mind? Halifax, 211 kilometers. Somewhere between five and 500 miles. I don't know. History, history, perfect game. Nobody notices.